Service Writing and Max Tracks, Part 1. Service Writing and Max Tracks includes entering customers and vehicles, writing repair orders and making estimates, upselling additional services, ordering parts, and finally cashing out the customer. In Service Writing Part 1, we will cover entering customers, vehicles, and starting an RO. In Service Writing Part 2, we'll cover making estimates and upselling the customer. In Service Writing Part 3, we'll review parts ordering and receiving parts, and finally, cashing out the customer. This is the service counter in MaxTrax. Let's get a quick lay of the land before we write our first repair order. Notice the side toolbar on the left. These are the buttons you'll primarily use while you're on the service counter. Whereas the toolbar across the top accesses other parts of the program. And here are listed all of our open repair orders. A side note here, for shops selling parts over the counter, you would click the parts counter icon to write your parts invoices on the parts counter. Please see the Write a Parts Invoice training video for more information. So we have selected down here in the left corner the appointment view of the service counter. The appointment view provides access to details about the appointments and open ROs on the schedule. I have a single line schedule selected as the details of the double line schedule are in this appointment view below for the highlighted RO above. Let's start a repair order. Click the Write New Repair Order button on the left to start the repair order wizard. We can search our customers by various criteria by selecting the radio button. But today we'll just search by name. I'll search for myself. This is a progressive search, so I'll enter the first few letters of my last name and click Next, or just hit the Enter key. This will list all of the customers whose last name or company starts with a CHA. And if the customer has not been in before, click the Add Customer button to start the wizard and add the customer's information. I'll arrow down and hit Enter again to select myself. Next. Today, I'm bringing in my Saturn for an oil change. If the vehicle is not listed or if this is a new customer, click the Add Vehicle button to start the Add a Vehicle wizard to create the vehicle record. Next. It looks like there are quotes available for my Saturn that I can access from an open RO. I'll click OK. And here are some of the recommended services for my Saturn from the last time that I had my Saturn in. A fuel filter, a transmission service, and checking out a power steering leak. I'll just select to add the fuel filter replacement to my oil change today. We'll discuss quotes and recommended services in detail in Service Writing and Max Tracks Part 2. I'll click Next. And here is where we enter our reasons for service today. Now a customer comes to your shop for one of two reasons. Either they have a problem or a request. A problem could be the check engine light is on or the car is running rough. A request could be for an oil change as in this case. Click the add request button and this opens the list of all the requests for service that I have in my system that we can choose from. MaxTrax comes preloaded with a list of requests and vehicle problems, but you will add, edit, and delete from this list over time to customize the list to fit your shop. I'll type an O to start the progressive search, and here is an oil and filter service. Note we can search by category on the left to narrow down this list a little bit. With oil and filter service highlighted, I can click the select button or just hit the enter key again to select this request. And here I can add some notes about this particular job. Use Mobile One Synthetic Oil and click OK. I could add another request for service or enter a vehicle problem 
but we'll just click finish here and start our repair order. Here, the update repair order information window is prompting you to enter these items. Perhaps we don't have the starting mileage yet. MaxTrax will prompt us later on to enter the mileage if we don't do it now. I do know which technician will be doing the job and the customer source. I'm an existing customer. I could add source on the fly here and I can tie a discount to the source to be applied automatically if that particular source is selected here. I'll select existing for myself and click OK. And here is the body of the repair order where most of the work is done. You'll notice the structure of the repair order in MaxTrax is a reason for service, and under each reason for service we select a labor, either a labor service from list, probably the most common, or labor from an online catalog, or from all data if you have a current subscription. I'll select from list in this example, which is where I have all my custom written labor services that I can add to, edit, or delete. I'll type an O to get to my oil change service. Double click the labor or click the select button. And this labor sales detail information screen lists the labor description and gives us an opportunity to add any notes about what the technician did. We can change or add another technician, enter any add-on charges if applicable down here, discount the labor service, let's put in a 10% labor discount, and here are the hours billed to the customer that are set in the labor service record, or we can change these. The flat rate hours above are what the technicians who are paid commission get credit for. Let's click OK. Now this new labor service is on our RO. Note here, with the reason for service line highlighted, we can only add another reason for service or another labor. We cannot add a part or sublet labor. We need to highlight the labor line. And now the parts and sublet buttons are active. So let's add some parts to this job. Click the parts button and we can select a part from the parts list, which I'll do since I stock oil filters and oil, or these are all the vendors that I have online ordering set up with, where I can go out to their online catalog, look up a part, and add it to my RO, and submit the order online. Let's just add a part from my parts list for now. We can search by part number, description, size, SKU if you have barcoding, compact part number, or a custom search item, or the tire size, if we're adding a tire to the RO. In this case, let's search by part number. Just start typing. You don't actually put your cursor anywhere. I'll type P for my oil filters, and again, it's progressive. Select an oil filter from the list, and here on the parts sales detail information screen, You'll note that this oil filter has an add-on charge for $1 automatically added here for the hazardous waste fee. This fee was entered into my oil filter part record when it was first created in MaxTrax. We could also add the add-on charge at this point if there was not a charge attached to the part record. You'll see the selling price in the regular price field of $9.50. This is set by the part price matrix I have selected here on the left. Here is a profitability monitor, and we're looking at an 11% profit on this oil filter sale. My profit monitor is green, as my parts price matrix is set to only mark up oil filters $1 over cost, so I've hit my target, hence the green dot. If I was below my profit target, this dot would turn red, just to warn me that I'm not hitting my profit level. I can click on this button to see the cost of the part. We also have the ability on this screen to discount the selling price of the part, just like on the labor service, 
enter a discount here that will print as a line item discount on the customer's repair order. This is a separate discount from the global discounts on parts and or labor that we can apply to the entire repair order. This screen also tells us the stock level of that part on hand. We have two in stock. We can edit the quantity here. It defaults to one. We can click to add another part to return to the parts list. And let's go get some oil. This time, I will click the radio button to search by my description and just start typing and hit enter on that part. And the sales detail information screen opens with quantity highlighted automatically. I'll use five quarts and click OK. This is the basic workflow to get an RO started. And you can print this repair order for the customer to sign and select to print a technician worksheet as well. This is what the repair order looks like. And this is what the technician worksheet looks like. In service writing part two, we'll review checklists, writing estimates for additional work, upselling, and saving declined work as recommended services. And this concludes the lesson on service writing and max tracks part one.